manual calculations of actual storage factor. Before we proceed, let us understand the definition of storage factor. In shipping, the storage factor indicates how many cubic meters of space one ton of a particular type of cargo occupies in a hold of a cargo ship. Imagine a ton of nail and a ton of cotton. There will be a large amount of difference when it comes to storage. Different cargos have different storage factor. As I said earlier, the storage factor of the cargo indicates how many cubic meters of space one metric ton will occupy in a hold. Since freight rates often are agreed on the basis of ton loaded, that is why it is important to know the estimated intake. It is important as well for the ship's officer for their calculations and planning. Prior vessel arrives in her loading port, the chief officer of the vessel prepares the storage plan and the loading sequence during loading. It is the responsibility of the shipper to provide the storage factor for the purpose of chief officer's planning. However, most of the times, these storage factors or storage factor are approximates and difficult to be precise since cargoes are exposed to different factors such as weather, humidity, and temperature. And this factor tends to change though negligible and not much effect on the plans made. Not often, but sometimes there are scenarios where the chief officer is asked to calculate the storage factor for the cargo that has been loaded, especially in bulk cargoes. In calculating to find the storage factor, we need for the following information. Number one, we need the volume of that particular hold. This information can be found in the hold capacity tables provided in the stability tables or in the stability books. It can be found also in the ship's particulars. Number two, we must measure the height of the cargo. If information not readily available, we need to measure the height of the hold manually. But oftentimes, it is on the plans of the vessel. Number four, weight loaded in the hold. This can be obtained from shore scale or tally figure from the stevedore's foreman. It can also be obtained by draft survey. Now, if the holds loaded is more than one, results from the draft survey can be calculated by percentage and distributed in each loaded hold. In planning the loading of heavy cargoes, it is very important to know the tank top stresses or the maximum weight it could take in every square meter area. This information can also be found in the plans or hull particulars. Let us take an example problem. The volume of the hold is 6,000 cubic meters and the maximum height at 100% full is 18 meters. Height of the loaded cargo measured 16.8 meters. Find the storage factor if shore scale loaded 4,200 metric tons. In taking the information from the book, be careful with the volumes as hatch areas and the hold areas are separately provided. In this discussion, we are assuming that we are required to obtain the storage factor. 
So now, let us try to solve for this 2h factor from the example problem. First, we have to solve for the volume of the loaded cargo. Cargo percentage of the loaded cargo is equals to the height of the cargo loaded divided by the height of the hold or the compartment being loaded. Substituting with the given information, we obtained 5,600 as the volume of cargo being loaded. Now to obtain the storage factor, storage factor is equals to volume of cargo loaded divided by the weight loaded. Therefore, substituting, our storage factor is 1.3333 cubic meter per metric tons. Always be careful with the units being used. For example, we need to provide them in cubic feet per metric tons, then we need to convert it. Until here mga kalayag, watch out for my more mentoring videos and thank you nga pala sa mga nag-like, share, and subscribe na. Kung hindi mo pa nagawa yun, please do so at na rin notification bell para ma-notify ka sa upcoming lessons natin. This has been Captain J saying, life is all about ratio and proportion. Ciao!